We have come together this afternoon to celebrate the marriage of Antonia and Craig. We are here in the presence of God to witness their vows as they give themselves to each other in Christian marriage. Family, friends, welcome to you all in this long anticipated day. Little did any of us know how things would pan out since just before the original wedding date, practically two years ago in 2020. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate this very, very special occasion with us. So I suppose you're wondering how did I actually manage to pull this off. So I passed first cross and I went to an ASCO pub quiz and Antonia was there. So straight away I thought, you've absolutely no chance. But fair play to her, she kept trying. <laughs> As we grow up, we take many things for granted. I've had many proud moments in my life, getting married to Marianne, having her three girls, first days of school. But, as you can see today, walking my Antonia down the aisle today, tops to all that, and I'm so proud. Before God, before God, and in the presence of our families and friends. And in the presence of our families and friends. I, Craig. I, Craig. Declare my love for you, Antonia. Declare my love for you, Antonia. And I give myself to you as your husband. And I give myself to you as your husband. Before God. Before God. And in the presence of our families and friends. And in the presence of our family and friends. I, Antonia. I, Antonia. Declare my love for you, Craig. Declare my love for you, Craig. And I give myself to you as your wife. And I give myself to you as your wife. Although it was only a couple of days later that we actually started messaging, and then I asked Antonia out on a date. So I knew I had to pull something special out of the bag, and for some reason, I'm still not sure why, I suggested ice skating. And we didn't seem to look backwards from there. Holidays, moving in together, getting engaged, lockdowns and working from home together, and of course, best of all, Ellie. Craig and Antonia, may the blessing of God rest upon you in the keeping of the promises you have made. God guard you on every side, God guide you in truth and peace. God gird you with faith and love. Amen. What I intend to say is that happiness grows, not through your wages or body or clothes, but in laughter and love and in sharing your life in the arms of another as husband and wife. So when you find someone who's weird just like you, who laughs when you're stupid and who makes you laugh too, when you sit on the sofa, not hiding your flaws, as imperfectly perfect as the hand that holds yours, when a cuddle and a cuppa is all that you need, well then, you found something quite special indeed. So wherever we go, whatever we do, whenever there's me, I hope that there's you. <laughs>